hello and welcome back so here let's start with the uh, create product operation so first of all I'll import mongoose from mongoose and uh, I also need the uh, product uh, table okay to make some code operations and now first of all I'll go here and I just make it as a sync await syntax okay the, uh, the es8 syntax so here i'll just cut this i'll just write some try catch okay okay so how you read this form data generally what you do is uh, you will submit all the fields and click on create so it will take out all the fields and in search so how it will receive a form data at server side is we already done some configuration at server.ts file that is this one so express.json so with this configuration so the express.js is going to receive your form data in a json format so um, back to here so how can you read this form data which is received by express.js uh, through request object request is sends data from client to server response is from server to client so something which is coming from client to server is request so you read this form fields also through request object so how you read that is request dot body okay so using that i create a fresh products let's say product is equal to an object where i need a name image price so name request dot body dot name okay and uh, image request dot body dot image price request dot body dot price this is how you read the form data uh, quantity also request dot body dot quantity and lastly the information uh, request dot body dot body dot information okay so you have a product okay it's done so once you receive a product data you need to insert into database so before i proceed with insertion i just do a small checks so check is check if the product is already exists okay if you are creating a product first i'm gonna check that product is already there or not okay I'm just checking existing product with the same name or not if not we'll insert otherwise we'll skip so how we check the product is already there or not is let's product uh, is equal to await await for operation uh, so I already have a product is it mm, I say okay existing product is equal to await the so product table dot find one with the condition is name um, product dot name okay so this is the a function call table dot find I'm, I'm just fetching uh, fetching data name matched with the form data which i receive so i'm just checking is there any product with the name provided okay so if exists if the product is exists what you do so you can stop the process so just say respond dot status uh, 401 unauthorized to insert dot uh, uh, json so you can send it back as a message message so product is already exists okay so if you have it it says only exists so you can't be able to create it okay so next step so now if not exists then you create the product so how you create a product is this data so you can just simply say so product is equal to um, new 
product uh, table of the product okay and finally just say a weight uh, let's say like product is equal to a weight product dot save done so it shows some error this is for products and this logic small change it's a product of type product uh, okay so look like this let new product new product is equal to this one and this uh, a new product dot save i guess that's fine okay so you created a product and then you save so this is nothing but insert into database so once it is insertion successful so you can send a response back so let's say response dot status of 200 dot json so let's confirm a message message uh, product is created okay so I got a confirmation and if something problem happens in this entire process so you can just make the error message you may just say just console.log of error and also respond dot status status of 500 dot json so let's say this one of the error is the error as it is okay and one small issue is here you just say written statement so if product is already exists written written means just come out from the loop it won't go for the next statements okay written statement is most important okay done so what you have done here is I just receive a form data and I'll check the product is exists with the name provided by the form data if not if there it returns error message if there if not sorry if there returns error message if not proceed with this okay it insert into database and you get a confirmation if something goes wrong in the process you get this error so that's all about creation logic so let's try this uh, test it so back to my database and refresh see now when I refresh big basket database has been created automatically just because of our schema configuration so when I expand this products there is no data because no insertion happens here okay now let's start testing it so I back to create product logic so here how will you provide a form data generally what happens when you have an application so you will be filling a form data like from the front end but I don't have a front end setup till now I only have a back end setup so how you test a form data is using insomnia so insomnia how you provide a form data is in the body you can select a JSON so you can just create a JSON data and paste it. So what are the fields required? Name, image, price, quantity, info. And all these are strings. 
so let's say name let's say tomatoes and the image make sure you write all double quotes www dot google dot com slash uh, images slash dot gpt some dummy image and uh, what else price uh, price some um, 45 rupees kg and the quantity uh, some 25 cages some 24 cages and some information about it information is some um, Indian tomatoes okay so assume this is the form data you have filled in the this form okay so I'm testing only backend API so you have to write like this and then see and also make sure there is no data right even I refresh no data now let's check when I click on send see you got a message product is created so successfully we got the product created but where did you check you go database and refresh see tomatoes has been created and we also get created it updated it an object ID underscore ID you can just see it in a table format okay so one record has been inserted successfully that's fine so insertion logic is working but one thing I want to test it is this one if I'm trying to insert the same product again it should show me this error so the same product again I'm trying to insert see you got a message and authorize it product is already exist the tomatoes is already exist you can't create so no two products with the same name got it okay so let's say something called potatoes uh, let's say uh, some 67 rupees and this is some 15 kgs indian potatoes send it created go refresh potatoes let's say lemons lemons some uh, 35 rupees kg some uh, 65 kgs Indian lemons and send created refresh and checks yes so we successfully created the products and we are trying to insert lemon again you get the error that's fine so now insertion logic is successful now let's talk about update logic in the next video thank you